And you do need to hydrate if you're going to endure a uh, summer in Alabama. Alex Puckett, uh, it, it, it gets a little, little, little warm, a little sticky, a little Absolutely. muggy. Oh, yeah. And we've got some of that on the way. Occasionally, it gets stormy in summer. We've got some storms in the forecast, too. And this morning, we are dry. It's a live view from Lincoln at Talladega Super Speedway. And we have seen some fog develop south and east of there. Visibility down to a mile in Anniston. And we do think uh, we've got some uh, denser fog that's set up uh, in parts of East Alabama. So places like Alex City seeing a little bit of a visibility issue, but especially back towards uh, Lake Martin and, and then extending back down to the west, back towards Wetumpka and Selma. A little bit of fog setting up there this morning, but uh, not a widespread issue to start the day. We do have some clouds this morning, but no rain to start the day. Temperatures sitting in the 60s up near 70 this morning and temperatures making it up into the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. We'll go to 86 in Gwin and Ethelsville, 87 in Aliceville, the high today. Uh, we'll see temperatures making it up a little bit higher in places like Hoover, Bessemer, up to 88. Same for Centerville, uh, but we could be as cool as 84 in Ailey, uh, Haleyville and Holly Pond today. Uh, temperature making it up to 87 in Sylacauga, 84 Ashland, 85 in Ohatchee this afternoon. And we do have that chance for a couple of thunderstorms today. Right now we're dry and through much of the day we'll stay that way. But into the afternoon, a few isolated showers and storms possible. Those stick around through this evening and maybe even overnight. And we'll see more of these showers and storms in the forecast on Tuesday. So rain chances actually trend up a little bit Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. A little better chance to catch some showers and storms then a stretch of drier weather on the way to kick off the weekend. So again, we're just going to see a few waves of showers and storms on the way through midweek. Uh, but check this out. This is the amount of moisture in the atmosphere and look at this Friday drier air pushing in is that really humid air gets pushed back down towards the Gulf Coast by a front. We're not going to see much of a temperature change with this, but the comfortability uh, that's going to get much better for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You see the dip there. It tries to trend back up a little bit Sunday afternoon, but drier air will make its way back into the state for the end of this week. So that'll be nice. But with all that humidity in the air today through Thursday, expect some showers and storms around. But your weekend forecast looking pretty good. It's still going to be hot, but lower humidity Saturday looking really nice. That humidity starts to trend up on Sunday and will bring in the chance for at least an isolated shower or storm. But Friday and Saturday, probably the nicest days of the week. And note those overnight lows dipping there, especially by Saturday morning. That's that drier air helping us out. Uh, and letting things cool off a little bit more. But again, it is going to be short lived with that chance for an isolated downpour and a little bit higher humidity on the way on Sunday. David. We'll take the 